Scott Rasul joining us. Um, please raise your hand if you have a question for him. Let's go to Brett for the first one. Hey, Rasul, the last time you guys played Tampa and it was a tough loss, you, that's when you had your, uh, you know, your team meeting and brought everyone together. Anything that you think you can do this time around to uh, help considering what happened today? Um, I mean, I think Shaq did a good job of talking after the game. Uh, and saying what he got, what he got off his chest. Uh, I, I think that should help. But I mean, if, if we're being honest, uh, this this loss right here is on me. Um, I didn't I didn't play well enough, and usually I'm the voice of the defense, and well, not the voice, but I'm the energy of the defense. And when I was having a terrible night, I didn't uh, bring the energy, and I think it kind of just rippled effect to everybody else. And that's just how we played as a defense. All right, let's go to Deshaun Brown for the next question. Basul, you mentioned that you felt like this loss is on you. What do you feel like was different for you in this game? Um, technical difficulties. Can you, can you repeat that? I'm sorry. I, you mentioned that you felt like this loss was on you. How do you feel you were different in this game or what you weren't able to bring this week in particular? Uh, I just, a couple of plays I could have made that I didn't make. Um, and I was just thinking about the plays. Uh, usually as a cornerback, you got the next play mentality because uh, things are going to happen. Um, that's the hard part of, about playing the toughest position. But usually you just got to bounce back. And I let those plays uh, dwell on me, and I wasn't the energy for the defense. Let's go to Joe Person and then Steve Reed. Rasul, in talking to Coach Rule about the long run that they had, Indicated that you know there was kind of a problem up front, but then also, you know, you guys couldn't bring them down in the back end. Uh, wondered if you might take us through that uh, that play in particular. Um, I mean, we knew a play they were running. Uh, Shaq only screamed it to us thirty times uh, while we were in the huddle. Uh, I think everyone, all the coaches, everybody on our team knew a play they were running. Uh, we just got to stand our gap and uh, get them down and live to uh, see another down. How frustrating too, Coach Rule said that that was the same play they popped against you in Tampa. Um, not yeah. you, not you. No, 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 I understand. no, I understand, I understand. You're just talking about us as a defense. Yeah, uh, they. I believe they did uh, pop one in us in Tampa, but, and they got one here. Uh, like I said, we all knew what play they were running. Uh, it's a couple guys. Uh, just missed. Uh, we didn't tackle him. Rasul, uh, you know, one thing that's uh, just continues to haunt you guys is the third down defense where you're, you're, you're last in the league and getting off the field. I mean, is it correctable with this current group of players or, or what do you think? Yeah, I definitely think it's, it's correctable. Uh, but like, like you said, uh, we suck in that department, you know, um, we haven't been able to do it, and while we, as a defense, got to find a fucking way to do it, uh, I think the coaches are putting us in positions to get off the field, and we're not doing it, um, myself included. I'll put that on me as well. I'll blame myself again for that because uh, I had a few chances to get us off the field on third down uh, and even a chance on fourth down to do it, and I, I didn't do it. So, Is there anything you can think of that would help, uh, you know, more blitzing or – mixing things up somehow or anything? Uh, I don't know. I think I think Snow does a good job with calling when he called, but I think at the end of the day, we got to just execute it. I mean, it can't be about what the call was. I mean, it's a guy in front of you, you line up against him, and you got to make sure he don't make the play, you know? You got to pick yourself over him. So I think that's just what we got to do. Let's go to Jonathan Alexander and then Vashti Hurt. Hey, Rasul, I'm running the 98-yard test. Um, did you feel like that play more than any others? Um, you all felt um, as possibly the backbreaker in the game? Um, yeah, I think that, that play is up there. I watched the momentum kind of like shift for us, and then we get a great punt and then touchdown. It's just like, fuck. And kind of looking at everybody, it was like, damn, like we, we, we knew a play was coming, and it was just like, so I think that kind of like sucked the energy out of us again. But I mean, we can't let that happen. Not on the first play. Hi, Rasul, thanks for your time. You said that Shaq spoke to the team 
I'm just curious if you don't mind sharing some of the words that he said, I guess. Um, yeah, if you'll share what he said to you guys. Oh, uh, I, I, I'm not going to curse uh, every other word uh, in the, on the media, but he said some things and um, he basically told everybody, look in the mirror. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, like the coach has been preaching all week, um, details, leverage, assignment, and winning your one-on-ones. And none of us did any of that. Like the whole team, we all, we all did bad. Um, and he basically cursed everybody out and said, we ain't fight hard enough. We didn't want it more. Um, that's a lot of stuff he said, but he basically just told everybody about themselves. Um, uh, just as a follow-up, you guys seem to be taking this loss tougher than any of the other ones. Why is that? Uh, divisional game, and it was the next game. I mean, every loss hurts. No one wants to lose. Everyone wants to win. That's what the mindset we have. And we know we are a good enough team to win. And I think that's what kills us the most when we know we can we can win. And we just don't put it on film. And right, guys, we have time for two more. Let's go to Melina Getzenberg and then finish with Bill Boat. Hey, Rusul. I mean, you clearly seem very frustrated and putting yes, <laughs> putting the blame on yourself. But is there yeah. like anything in particular that you think just didn't work this week? I mean, you guys have been in like every other game, and this one it just fell apart. Do you? I mean, is there anything in particular you really point to? Yeah, me. I point to myself. Uh, it's it's all me. Like it, I know it's me. You know, I have to play better, and I have to even if uh, someone I give up a play. I got to be able to to clear it out my memory bank, and I got to still be able to be the energy for the guys, uh, and you know hype them up. Cause usually I'm hyping everybody else up, but when players are going bad for me and I'm having a bad day, it's like I can't I can't hype myself up. You know what I'm saying? Cause I know like I'm better than that. So then I'm not hyping myself up and I'm not hyping them up as well. So I just think it was my fault. Yeah. So what goes through your head or what do you think goes through the defense's head when you guys make a good stop on first down and then second down and then, well, here comes third down again? I mean, we we emphasis, put emphasis on it every week. that That's the down. I mean, because I think we do play well enough on first and second down to get off the field on third down. And then we just don't. We don't find a way. So, I mean, I don't know what goes through everybody's head, but I we try to just say, like, this the down, you know, and we got to do a better job at it. All right, you guys, we got to let Rasul go. Rasul, we appreciate it. All right, man.